Hey guys, welcome back. Now it's a couple of days after doing my review video on the ZD-013 here, but today we're gonna to take it for a range test. Uh, we're gonna see if we can get 300 meters out of this drone, like stated on the listing. And uh, if you did watch my review video, uh, during the unboxing, I did say that I was going to open up the Wi-Fi module here and extend the antenna out, which I did. Okay, so we'll try to get the best possible Wi-Fi FPV reception. And while I was at it, I did open up the transmitter and look how long the antenna is. So I've exposed that as well. Uh, it doesn't hurt to try that out. So a couple of quick uh, antenna mods there. And hopefully that will work to our benefit a bit as far as FPV. Now, um, I'd like to address a, a comment that was left by a viewer in my uh, review video. But they said that this drone was uh, sent to me by Banggood secondhand. It was a used product. That's why the drone was faulty. Well, I can tell you right now that this drone was brand new or is brand new. Uh, was not sent to me secondhand from Banggood. In fact, in the years that I've been uh, doing this RC channel, I've never been sent a secondhand product or used product before. And if I did suspect that any of the products sent to me was secondhand, first off, before filming a review on the product in question, I'd reach out to the vendor uh, and let them know, say, you know, hey, I suspect this is secondhand, you know, send me a brand new one. But uh, yeah, they also mentioned, uh, there was some marks on this drone that's why it was second hand so um i don't know guys i don't i don't see any marks on it i don't know what the person was uh referring to but i'm not having a go at you if you're watching this video but um i'm just letting you know that this drone was not second hand and there's no marks on this drone at all you know so as you can see it's totally brand new there's no damage no marks so now the only reason that you know those features didn't work you know I'm talking about the follow me mode the waypoints and the surround is because the app ain't finished off properly so it's all down to the developer of the app they should have uh, made sure everything worked maybe this LW Pro app does you know work with another drone maybe it does work with another drone those features but it doesn't work with this particular one okay now another thing I'd like to add is that after filming the review video um, I first suspected that maybe those features didn't work. I did mention it in my flight test that I thought the features didn't work because this drone had a pretty early LVC warning. The lights were flashing on the front. And most drones, if the LVC warning pops up, okay, and you've got flashing lights, most uh, features will not work. So that's what I suspected with this one. But after filming my review, I took it up again with a fresh battery, okay, fully charged battery, and uh, the features still didn't work, so it doesn't make any difference. That confirms that the app ain't finished properly, all right? But anyway, guys, enough of that. We're gonna send it up, I'm gonna calibrate it, and then we're gonna uh, fly it down towards the power station. I'm just out here on the coast, and uh, we're gonna see if we can get 300 meters out of this drone, the ZD-013. So they'll be coming up in a moment. I'll just get it set up and we'll take it up in the All air. Right, guys, as you can see, I've got Wi-Fi FPV. We've even got the maps up on the screen there. So uh, let's put it up in the air. Let's sit here for a second. go in the shade here actually so I can see the phone a bit better all right let's send it up and out just see what rate I'm in I'm in rate one just slowly head out there To kick in rate two actually. It's a bit windy. Same we're at 198 meters away. It's pretty windy up there. Might have to kick it in a rate three. Very lightweight drone. It's 
240 meters. Struggling. It is struggling to move forward. Getting blown back in the headwind here. Let it sit there for a while. See if I can control the camera. We're near the train tracks there, as you can see. I can control the camera, as you can see there. So I've got connection. It's saying quarter of a mile away. Bring the camera back up. See the power station over there. If I go up a bit higher. Just try to stick to the train tracks in front of us there. Go down that way. There we go. So we're getting Wi-Fi FPV at a pretty far distance. The last drone I reviewed flaked out well before this. Okay, it looks like we've uh, frozen up. Let's see where I am on the map. So we passed that road there, McTaggart. Okay, and I'm just there. Go back. All right, we've got Wi-Fi PV again. Same 500 meters away. It's frozen up. Oh, we got it again. I'm just giving it a chance to reconnect. I'm not really pushing the drone much forward. I'm just seeing if we can get that connection again. Try push forward. Now I can't go any for more forward guys. The actual transmitter telemetry is saying 511 meters. It won't go any further. All right, so it's got a 500 meter distance. Okay, and we're not re regaining any FPV. So I'm gonna hit return to home. And it's returning on the app, that's good. 391 meters. Bringing up the maps here. Go back to the screen, where is the drone? So they returned already. That was pretty quick. Yeah, it's above me now. Gee, that returned really quick. You can see me just there in the car. It's on the side of the road here. There's no hat cam footage today, guys. Just uh, screen recording. All right. Very windy today. And it's only about 11 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> All right, let's uh, bring that camera back up. Catch it? Yes. Tipped it upside down. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. That is the range test of the uh, ZD-013. Not too bad. It did go out there pretty pretty decent distance. 
they did state it had a 300 metre distance on the listing on Banggood. Uh, I think it definitely did get that far. Um, I could still see it line of sight. And we still had good connectivity from the Wi-Fi up till where I pushed it to, well, it said 511 on my transmitter here. I'll have to have a look on the app because the writing's so small. But when I edit this video, um, I'll see what it said on the telemetry on the app. But uh, yeah, flew out there, not a problem, guys. Not a bad little drone, especially for beginners. And uh, yeah, I'll leave a link in the description below if you're interested in this one. It performed a lot better than, um, I think it was the S188. Uh, that one flaked out with the FPV a lot sooner than this uh, ZD. 013. So there you have it guys, that is the range test on the brand new ZD-013 GPS drone. I said I was going to do a range test in my review video and uh, yeah, performed rather well on this flight test. I think maybe this quick antenna mod, just exposing the antennas on both the transmitter as well as uh, especially the Wi-Fi FPV antenna, that did help uh, maintain that uh, fairly decent distance of Wi-Fi FPV connectivity. Um, they did state on the listing that the range of this drone is 300 meters as well as the FPV uh, range as well. And I think we definitely did get over 300 meters with this drone today. Thanks for watching guys. Sorry about the wind noise. If there is any, there probably is during this flight because it is really picking up now. Um, as I said, there'll be links in the description below if you want to check this one out. It only costs around 49 US dollars. That's very cheap for a GPS beginner drone or around 75 dollars Australian. So, uh, link in the description if you want to check it out. And I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.